welcome back. We're with Mum Drums and we're going to be talking a little bit about technique today. Uh, this is the uh, technique we call the slap. And so we're going to work on the slap technique on these monk drums. And uh, just a little bit about the slap. You know, the slap has many applications. It's meant to give the accent, uh, kind of like the snare drum rim shot in two and four rock or pop music. And also you have, uh, you know, like in a tumba when you're playing salsa music, you have that slap to create some emphasis in the groove. And so the slap, uh, definitely one of the harder tones, uh, but one of the most fun to play. Uh, in hand percussion is, is definitely something to practice and have some fun with on your monk drums. So the slap technique is a lot, it's similar to this, the open tone technique where you use um, uh, from about here up on, on the hand and what that creates for you is a good cushion, a good place for the hand to make contact with your drum. Okay, so if you look, and I'm going to tilt down towards the camera, you can kind of see that I'm making the same placement here that I would have on an open tone. Okay, so it's the same placement except that I'm going to go ahead and leave the hand on the drum and kind of maybe put a little bit more emphasis on the finger pads here up in the front. And that's what creates that high pitch uh, slap that we get. So you'll see that when I demonstrate in a second. Also, um, I was taught uh, uh, to, to also relax uh, the hand. I think a lot of people make the mistake of trying to hit harder on a slap and really a conga, a conga slap is not hard, it's actually done relaxed and heavy. And so instead of playing it hard with a lot of emphasis in the shoulder, you relax the arms, you kind of almost just let it drip, drape like this, kind of like almost looks like a, like a, the way a cobra would stand. Uh, and, and, and so what you want to do is kind of just like let it drop in and just right into the drum. It's not done hard, it's done heavy with a lot of weight and speed. Speed's a factor, the faster you bring it down, the higher the slap you're going to get. Okay, and if you notice with my other hand, I'm also kind of pulling a little bit more, I'm putting some uh, muted uh, uh, finger pads on the other side, so I get kind of a drier sound. You can also move hand positions into the top part of the drum right about here, and get what they call a seco slap, or a drier slap. Okay, and so you get that higher pitched slap, so you get like a more of a tonal slap here, and then more of a drier slap here. And so if you notice, you get a nice uh, accented uh, moment on the drum that cuts through all the other tones that you're doing. So a little demonstration on that, if you're playing some open tones, you can hear how that slap makes contact with the drum, makes a higher pitch, and gives you a really new, neat texture to enjoy your mock drums with. Thank you very much.